<laughs> if you go down to the emulator zone today, you're in for some Banjo Kazooie with Muzz and Ron. A like, a comment, and a wee subscribe would be lovely. Would be lovely. So, um, Gruntilda obliged. does seem to be putting her face everywhere. Yeah, man. And that's uh, another big indicator to someone who's like. It's a very much a uh, Gruntilda show. It's Brent Maybe. Tilda. Oh, like kind of like Wizard of Oz. I'm noticing some theme, some uh, some borrowed themes, but I'm here for it because that's fun. Yeah, man. I feel like. Do you think maybe that's the issue with um, with a lot of like modern media? Is like people are afraid to rip stuff off in creative ways. Yeah, a little. Well, sort of. Like everything's a remake, but like nothing's that new. Yeah, they're not doing much with the remake. What? To like bring it into the new age, I guess. I don't know. This is very much like if we got Mario sixty four because that works. And we like adjust it so that it's a bit different, and then we like put story themes from like Fairy Tale and Trailer Park Boys and <laughs> um, the Wizard of Oz, and then sort of like mash it together, and then you end up with an original thing. Yeah. So I would say if you're creating anything, take like three things and just steal them and mash them together. So here we are. Uh, let's go down here. Go down the woods tonight. The woods tonight. Can you feel the love tonight? It's Cauldrony Boy. Oh yeah, he's cool. Yeah, they're cool. Well, he's in an abusive relationship. We really need to look out for him. Yeah, true. She's uh, constantly being rude, and he's just like facilitating her horrific ego because he's frightened. And if there was a number he could call, then I'd put it here. <laughs> but I don't think they exist in our universe, so... Not in the uh, Banjo-Kazooie universe, probably not. I don't no. think they have telephones. No. Doesn't look like they, it, they would. Well, things look a bit spooky here. It's getting that way. We are in a witch's castle, after all. 180. We have not enough. We're not darts. One hundred and eighty! They st dart darts stop being good when they ban smoking. <laughs> People can't cope, they can't balance properly without a f*** in their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like a pint in one hand. It's an integral part of the darts. Oh, that's a mumbo thing. That is a mumbo thing. Are we, gonna, are we likely to see mumbo again? Oh, absolutely, bro. Oh, cool, he's like a part of the main cast. Yeah, dude. He's not like a one episode character, he's like a recurring. Yeah, so you know our our good pal, Robbie. Yeah. He's you know his tattoo on his arm? Uh-huh. He's got a mumble head. Oh cool. I'll need now I have context for that, I'll need to ask him to show me. Yeah man. I'm he's... sure he does anyway. I'm almost certain of it. Um Here's the level we've just unlocked. I tell you what, I've got some opinions on this game already. What's this that? is very, very good for its time. Oh yeah, man. It's like, very solid. Very, very solid. Mario 64 sort of walked so this game could run. Yeah. And like, every, even like you can tell that they've like figured out the models for things really well. Yes. Because Banjo's really expressive. Um, but all the all the characters are very expressive and. The textures are pretty good for their time, really. Yeah, man, it holds up. You know, it looks dated, but it holds up. Can we, can we do this? Yeah, let's go do this guy. Hey, buddy. Oh, man. Is he cool? Yeah, Snipper. Oh, nice. Nah, no, he's not cool. We're gonna, <laughs> no, he's, he's we're gonna, gonna kick his ass. Is he gonna trick us? No, he's, 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 he's just cheeky. Bird feathers clipping. He's, yeah. He's not happy that we're on his beach. And he wants to get us. Alright. That's fine. I mean, this is his domain. Yeah, we just get him. We are being quite aggressive with uh, the native species of this area. It's true. But it's all for the greater good, so... Absolutely. It's also we can get the jigsaw pieces and probably liberate these guys from 
the evil spell in which they're under. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Let's let's hope it's that. Uh, can I? Can we, you? Thanks. Right. Thank you. Dear Lord. Eating some delicious quavers. Probably. <laughs> I'm so yeah. confident. Like the like the crisps. Like yeah. The, like the corn snack. You get prawn cocktail flavor, which is not quite as good, but different. They're pretty good. They're pretty good as as crisps go. Both, I would take a pack of quavers if they were going. And they're like air, so you like eat, you just eat them and you feel like you're eating nothing. Yeah, like, I could eat a mountain of quavers. Oh, I could easily. And like you go to the cinema, which I did recently. What did you see? I saw the Transformers 1984 what? or eight, the 80s series, and it was like a, a compilation of like the first four episodes. Oh, cool. And the first episode was, like, dubbed by everyone but recently. Right. Which was, like, quite goofy but really cool because I like voice acting and I'm, like, a voice acting enthusiast. And I now have my favourite Transformer. His name is Soundwave and he has a cassette for a chest. And the tape comes out and it's a bird. My bird. Yeah, man. It's He's like Banjo-Kazooie. It's like it all comes together. Yeah, man. Um, but he talks like... Hello. I am Soundwave. But they run it through like a Daft Punk machine. Cool. It's very cool and very specific. Um, and yeah, seeing a really old animated film in the cinema now was quite surreal. Yeah, that'd be cool. I got a big ass thing of popcorn and it was really, really salty. Yeah. Because I like salty popcorn and I'd had a drink that day. Oh, nice. And it seemed like the right thing. Fair. Uh, but it was, it was just a bit, just a bit salty. Just a bit too much, like. But just a bit too much. And that and a, a large coke cost like fifteen pound. What? Damn, dude. Yeah, man. That's insane. I, th I, be I believe it was as much or more than the cinema tickets themselves. What? Yeah, man. That's insane. And we sat at Weatherspoons and we drank and it was merry. It was a very hot day. We sat inside on that Weatherspoons, in that Weatherspoons. Until someone moved and then we moved outside. Nice. And John was there and it was great. I do love John. I do love John. Shout out to John. I Good think old. we might consider getting John on for some episodes. Absolutely. Um, because we like his chat. And he's very English. And therefore more understand easily understandable than us. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Which would be a, a benefit to our channel, to be honest. Yes. <laughs> a translator, if you will. Yeah. For sure. So you're like doing some pirate ship nonsense. Yeah, I gotta get the treasure for the sad pirate because he's lost his treasure. Pick up some treasure for myself though while I'm at it. Diving a bit. Yeah, man. Where your bird? My bird. Checking for, for booty. Here's the booty. Oh shit. Get the booty banjo. Hell yeah. Go oh, so you've got other stuff to get for people. I'm noticing a pattern. Yeah, there's always going to be someone there that's like, oh, I lost my shit, or you need to get my shit. And, and then... yeah, this um, this is performing like exceptionally well. Hell yeah, dude. For a game of its time, so like they obviously figured out optimization on this a lot as well. Yeah, because I think that's ninety percent. Like by the end of a console's life cycle, and I don't know if this was the end, but let's just say this is like the middle of the N sixty four life cycle. Yeah. By this point, they figured out how to like minimize how much power everything uses to do what is happening, and yeah. how much how much space. Is required. Yes, and one of the biggest problems with modern games is that nobody tries to optimize anything, and you get things like the newest Call of Duty being 500 gigabytes big. Yes, yeah, and it's like people ask me all the time, like, "Hey man, do you want to jump on COD?" And I'm like, "No, no. fuck that. <laughs> I've got like 400 games on my console, and I like all of them. Yep, and I'm not deleting all of them. I'm not deleting half of them just to play one game that I don't really care for that much." 
<laughs> so, yeah, fuck that. It's insane. Like, it's way too much. There's loads of games that are like that. I get it if it's all, like, if it's the only game you play and that sound and you're really into, like, online shooters and, like, the sport of that, then it makes sense. But, like, I just like a bit of variety in my life. Yeah. And there's other shooters that are available. Yes. Like Titanfall. Like Titanfall. That game's dope. No. Or, or if you like a Master Chief collection that's like 120 gigabytes, which is way too much, but it's like five games, which sort yeah. of balances it out. A wee bit, yeah. So this is a cool gimmick. Okay. You're gonna like yeah, you're gonna like this. So these are called shock pads. Okay. You hold an A on them. Oh, nice. And you can do a big old jump. But here's what's really broken about them. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so as soon as you've held A, mm -hmm. you can move and still do the spring jump. So you can keep A held down. You just keep so you hold uh, A to initiate the spring jump, right? And you can like move about while you do that, right? But you can do that as soon as you press A. So now we move. But see that little hop he takes? Yeah. You can use that to jump. And then just shoot off. Oh man, so you can get like way like more Yeah, so out if, of that. if you get like time it right, you can jump off the thing and still jump up. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah man. Yeah, they really thought about a lot of stuff here. Hell like, yeah. the, the actual like mechanics and the physics are like pretty well done. Yeah, man. Um, everything's a bit heavy, like for today's standards. Like, I yeah, can, we I touch. Could, I could see people being a bit like, mm. like it's slight, and I mean like slightly on the clunky side because of that. Yeah, for sure. But there's so much about this that's worked out that that works for other platformers now. So thanks, Rare. You guys are good. Well, well Rare, great. R.I.P. So I was like, they're a British company, so like, is, I'm sure the guy, I think it's Grant Kirkhope? I'm not sure. I hope I'm right. Uh, did a, like the music for a lot of Rare games, including like Donkey Kong and stuff, and like Donkey oh, Kong nice. Country's music is like MVP. Epic. Yeah, it's so good. Absolute killer of the SNES, like, you could burn that onto a vinyl and it would sell. Who did uh, the original? Killer Instinct soundtrack. I'm not sure, but I do have Googling devices. Yeah, I'd like to find that out. Who made it? So, it is Grant Kirkhope that did Banjo Kazooie. Right. So, I don't need to correct myself. And for what was the game again? Killer Instinct. For Killer Instinct. The OG one. Composer. We've got uh, Mick Gordon. Mick Gordon was the original composer. Kill Dweller and Tom Salter. Uh, like the nineties one. Uh, who did? Yeah. What? Was Mick Gordon totally did the new one? Robin Beanland. Okay. Or Beanland. Composing mm. music for numerous rare titles. Cool. Such as Killer Instinct. Cool. Also British, yeah. These guys know what's up. What was I'm sure Rare was supposed to make like uh, a remake of Goldeneye for Xbox Live and it was like Master Chief Collection, right? In the sense that you could press a button and it would like update the graphics, or you could turn it off, cool, and go for the performance, uh, and everything was worked out. And then, like, someone at some company, probably Nintendo, was like, "No, no more. You're not getting more license," which is a shame because Nintendo really need to get their their act together when it comes to things like emulation, uh, remastering games, all that stuff is piss poor. Yeah, that's not great. Shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. The fact that Dolphin runs um, Mario Sunshine better than the official Console. Switch release that came out, like it's a limited edition, like, guys, buy it now before it's gone. What is a bit, shall we say, wanky? Yeah, I think wanky is a good word for that. I think wanky is appropriate. Is that a mine? That is a mine. That's not great. 
and he, he follows you. That's like a hot fuzz, uh, a hot fuzz mine. What are they like? They find a massive fuck off mine. Yeah. Off the guy that like speaks like that. Yeah, he's like, it's, it's Filch. Yeah, and it's also the guy off Clarkson's farm. Who speaks like that? Yeah, Gerald. And like, it's true because I know I know a farmer. I think he's passed away now, but he spoke like that. Did he? Yeah. Damn. You you know. Yeah, they don't they don't need syllables. It's fine. You just use the outline of the words. Yeah. Banjo, and run the Project 64. With the emulation. Would you like to go over to the to that one over there and get some feathers? Yeah, man. Well, this is nowhere near as spooky as as it was before. This is like a, a chill old time, just uh, donking, it, donking on the feathers at the beach. It'll uh, it'll get spooky, don't you worry. Well, it's a bit of, like a bit of nice contrast, you know. Yeah, man. And you know it's summer, so this is appropriate. Yeah, man. Hanging out at the beach, banjo and <coughs> kazooie and. <laughs> so like, what's Mumbo gonna teach us next? Alright, uh, he he's gonna uh, you just get a magic spell for this island. I don't think he's hanging out with this island. I see. I don't think he's here. So he's not at every level, but he's at a lot of them. Makes sense. <laughs> sound design for this game is very, very, very nice. So, yeah, what age were you when you first played this? Well, it came out in 98 and we had the N64 play brand new when it came out. And yeah. I'm sure that this was a launch title. No, it can't be. I think it was 96 the console came out. Right, so we maybe didn't. We, I'm sure we had this from, like, the moment we bought the console. Yeah. So I would have been three <laughs> yeah. in 98. So yeah. That's class. Yeah, man. Yeah, I don't think I did any 3D games until like... Oh, it's hard to say, but like... Probably f 2000 or 2001. Damn, dude. Like, I think I was a few generations behind until like, the GameCube came out. That's crazy. So like, I think I got a PS1 around like, 99 or 2000 and played a bunch of Spyro. Which is also kind of similar. Hell yeah. <coughs> um, oh, and no. yeah, the jump from from 2D to 3D was just insane. Yeah, no doubt, dude. Like, I'm trying to think, because like the N64 was. Hmm? That shark a... wants your ass. Yeah. Because we had a we had a SNES. I remember having a SNES. And I remember playing that. I've got memories of playing that when I was like two and a half. I suppose it's all blurred, like yeah, it's all you, don't, you like own all the consoles at roughly the same time. Yeah. But as a kid, it feels like bigger. Yeah. Intervals than it really is. Totally. Um. Yeah, I had a Sega Mega Drive. That was my first console. Obviously, got really into Sonic. Um, yes. And then it burned down in a house fire. Oh no. And I was fucking devastated. <laughs> and I like, was like, just didn't understand why it was gone. Why it could be, like, why was it my thing that got burnt, you know, it was yeah. like, what the fuck. Um, and yeah, and then ended up getting a SNES and being like, does the cartridge work? And being like, oh, that's sort of like, no, it's not the same. Damn. But then learning to love the SNES. Oh, the SNES is great, man. And uh, got into a lot of good games on the SNES. Like, what did I what did I have? Like, really, I had a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fighting game that I really loved. That's just recently been re-released. Re that was on SNES. Nah, not the beat 'em up. Not Shredder's Revenge. <gasps> no! I can't believe I just slipped oh, man, off. I just choked. Choked so hard. Motherfuckers won't find me. Ball so hard, AVI. <laughs> Fucking when shark. You, when you turn into a car and drive away. <laughs> yeah. I love that video. 
Oh man, back up, back to the... Back fucking okay. up we go. So, you know what just happened there? Well, if we were to play Mario Sunshine, can I just tell you that that game is all about that. Oh. It's all about that exact thing. Being really weighty. Too weighty. Just climbing at the top of a very tall, pernickety, thing. Diff difficult to get across thing. And then being like, oh no, I've fallen. And being like, for fuck's <laughs> sake, i got to climb all the way back yeah. here again. Because I guess people felt like, alright, bottomless pits are a bit too much. We're starting to be upset about bottomless pits. Yeah. It's kind of not fun to be kicked out of level because of a bottomless pit and then have to go back into the level. Do the whole thing. As we learned playing yes. Mario 64 on our old channel, may it rest in peace. Yes. May it rest in peace indeed. So, maybe one day, and I'm not talking about soon. No. Not soon at all. Um, maybe I can find a version of Mario 64. Maybe. That has a lot of things fixed with it. And we can go and have a good time. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Being a keyword. Yes. Maybe very much is a keyword in that. Alternatively, we could probably just get like a Mario Galaxy or something and have a really easy time. Do like Mario Galaxy. <laughs> that game is piss easy and we could smash through it, no bother. Yes. Look. Damn. You face planted so hard there. Yeah, man. That was brutal. Also, like, the height of this level is really impressive. Yeah, dude. <coughs> they don't fuck about. This game does not fuck about. It's, yeah, man. It's pretty big, by the way. Just, like, fair warning. No, no, we need, like, a slow burner series that we can yeah, just man. keep coming back to. Or just keep plodding along with, you know? Yeah. That's what it's all about. Getting that sweet content, putting that number go up. Number go up. Content go up. YouTube algorithm say yes. Yes. So you're gonna chicken up these boxes. Yeah. And then like do a little dance and drink some drink a little water. Be very careful as we cross you know, over here. Right, and then there's a thing there to do, but I need to get the bucket guy. Where's the there he is? There's the bucket guy. Hey bucket guy. Do you want some eggs? Here's why we shit eggs, Murray. Okay. We can block stuff. Yeah, block his leaky I... pat. He's pal patched up now. Oh nice. Now he can drain the lake for us. What G. And we can go in there and do a puzzle and get a jiggy. Okay. How do how do we save this game? How do we save it? I mean, I'm assuming I can save state. I would imagine. That might be clever. I'm going to try and do that. Okay. Save state. Nice. Sure. I believe it. So, sandcastles in the sand, eh? Sandcastles under the water in the sand. I that's, wonder what that's the a well, but That's a well-built sandcastle, if it withstood the test of water. Hell yeah. And draining water. And it's that. hollow inside. And it's hollow inside. What kind of magic is this? Well, you know what, say what you want about Godtilda, but she's good at her job. Like, she's an efficient witch lady. She builds some pretty incredible things. Um, her powers are rivaled by none. By absolutely none. Maybe if she was nicer. She could find beauty within. <laughs> um, I think it's the moral of the story here. They would, they could all be, be friends and do stuff for good. But instead, someone had to be jealous and make us spell out Banjo Kazooie. First step: you need to make a puzzle like this. Maybe don't use the name of the person you're trying to keep out. Yeah, that because be that's really really stupid. Really silly. I mean, it's the last thing you'd expect, but they did put it on the wall, so... Yeah. <laughs> also, don't put it on the wall, right next to the thing that you're trying to keep locked up. <laughs> it's like a bank, and the password's like... Bank robber. <laughs> yeah. But they write, like, password is bank robber on the safe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's it. They'll never think of this one. 
<laughs> this poor guy. He's just dragging this fat bear around everywhere. I know, right? Look how happy Banjo is about it as well. He's just chilling, like, I don't yeah, know, yeah. my feet are killing me, man. I'm just chilling with the bird man. I'm going over here, man. What's this big clam day in, man? Whoa. <laughs> What's he up to? Uh, we've got we've got a bunch of jiggies here. We've done all the jigging? Not all of it, but we've got a lot. We've we done a sufficient amount of jigging. I think a sufficient amount of jigging for this world. We'll come back if we need more notes or something at some point. Yeah, man. Wow. 69. Nice. Hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> and then 70s. I think like uh, a 69, but with a finger up the bum. And that makes it a number 70. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. How's that? Well, I explained it to you. Because oh, it's 69 plus 1. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For fuck's sake. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> I guess you could technically make it a 71 if you both put a finger up each other's bottom. For sake. But that's a lot of work. That's not cost efficient when it comes to 69 energy. No, not at all. That's got to take up all your focus. And determination <laughs> in order to make it out alive. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Grunty's plan is rather cunning. When I'm thin, guys will come running. Huh. So, like, is this all because she's just wanting a ride? Probably. Is that the problem? Well, she's not getting her hold. Yeah. I mean, probably. Is that why she wants to be the stunning in all the land? That's a bit shan, because like that's like a wee girl she's going into. In my in my opinion, that's a bit that's a bit fucked. It's a wee bit fucked. But I suppose maybe she's playing the long game. You know, she'll grow up and be a beautiful bear lady. So yes. let's maybe look, not be too too harsh and go down that route. Fucking. But at the end of the day. She's a witch and she hasn't figured about figured out how to get her hole. I'm not sure anyone is. Yeah, it's pretty silly. There's gotta be a spell for that. There's gotta be a spell for that. <laughs> There's gotta. This is a lot of effort to go through. I mean it is, isn't it? Just to get a man. Unless it's true companionship, in which case you're scaring off multiple good candidates, so like <laughs> I just don't I don't see her like flawed egotistical logic whatsoever. Maybe I'm reading too much into this. I'm Maybe not you sure. are. I think it's going a bit too deep, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. That's being insulting to like, to, like which the, the universe. The banjo kazooie universe is deep in it. Its lore runs thick. Maybe it does. It's um, these guys are smarter than we're giving them credit for. Hey, it's Bruntilda. Hey, how's it going? You're the cool sister. Yeah. She wears a reinforced <laughs> griddle. Oh no. Under that repulsive dress of hers. Okay. Wait, so they're not letting her get her home? <gasps> they're putting a chastity belt on her. Maybe. So she can't reproduce. <laughs> Damn. She Jeez. can't make more evil witches. Well, the conspiracy comes, comes even more undone. Useless, like a pile of dung. Ugh. Dung's a useful thing, Gruntilda. You can yeah. make fertilizer out of that, in which you can grow with delicious food. But you wouldn't know that. Because you're too busy trying to look beautiful. Because you're too busy looking in the mirror. 18. Damn. Is that Dusseldorf? It's the Woodland Swamp. <laughs> Yeah, that's Düsseldorf Swamp. I thought it said Düsseldorf Swamp. It's a Bubble Gloop Swamp. <laughs> I mean, mine was closer. Yeah. To Bubble Gloop. <laughs> Düsseldorf. <laughs> bubble Gloop. <laughs> there it is. Damn. Bubble Gloop Swamp. Sounds gloopy. It's pretty gloopy. Ribbit, ribbit. I guess, um, in our next episode, we get swampy with things. Hell yeah.